Where's your pen? How's your pen? guys welcome to another video my name is Dise and this is Shaliwa my name is Shaliwa Shafa okay in today's video <laughs> in today's video we'll be talking about relationships we'll be spilling the tea on you know all the everything says and you know no we're just going to be talking about how trash men are basically Bruh. I made a poll on Instagram and I had people ask me questions on relationships, questions they wanted to get answers of and would be going through them and answering them. How do I know if I'm ready for a relationship? How do you know if you're ready for a relationship? I don't think there's like a template to it. Mm -hmm. You just know. Unless you're trying to run these boys' streets. I'm so sorry. If you're trying to run them streets, then there's a template. You have to follow the streets template. What but like, is the streets template? I don't know. I, I, I want to know. know. I, I want to know. know. I don't know. If you like someone and you click with the person, you just know immediately. I don't think there is a, oh, when is the right time? Yeah. When is not the right time? I, I mean, I feel you should have money. I feel if you don't have money, <laughs> I know this may come up somehow, but if you don't have money, because people have expectations, you want to go into a relationship and be expecting, like, maybe the guy to be doing everything, everything. things that you, you can't even do for yourself. Mm -hmm. So I feel like money is very important going into a relationship. You should also consider if we are ready to deal with our own baggage. Like, is my baggage plenty? Okay. Is my baggage plenty? Like, can somebody deal with my baggage? Can you ask, I just want to ask one. Can you assess your baggage on your own, by yourself? Yes. Without someone calling it out, like calling you out on. I feel like to a good extent I can. Mm -hmm. Like I know like things that areas that I fall short. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if I know that I haven't like improved in these areas since my last relationship, mm -hmm. then there's no point like going into going another, into another one. one. Yeah. How long should a talking stage last? Again, I'm still going to say it. There is no template. Mm -hmm. You will meet someone and you will talk with the person for two years and nothing will come out of it. Yeah. You will meet another person and talk with the person for like just one month and it's fast fast. Snap. But is sex compulsory in relationships and how long do we have to wait? There are two ways to look at it. Moral mm -hmm. grounds and what immoral like grounds. <laughs> immoral grounds. <laughs> Yes, because some people they don't they want to abstain from sex before yeah. before they get Mar married mm -hmm. based on like religion or like yeah. personal decision or maybe they are celibate or something. But I feel like if you're going to get with someone, you should know where they stand. Where they stand before going into that relationship. Yes. yes. Don't enter and then I'll start trying to like pressure the person like, Oh my god, I want that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What if they don't want what if they yeah. don't want it? So it's, it's definitely not compulsion. I mean my own concern is age. Like I feel if you are younger than 18 like if you are not an adult legally i don't see why you should even be thinking about sex like, read your book go read your books go to school like what are you leave man she's cheating on me what do i do do you want the old shaliwa or the new shaliwa <laughs> we want the old shaliwa we want back. violence cheats back but that's the old shaliwa okay, that's, that's shaliwa. a lot of violence <laughs> It is, it's a lot of violence. <laughs> the new Shaliwa, actually, the revamped Shaliwa, if it's something you can't put up with, bounce. Because yeah, there are people that cheating is not actually a deal breaker exactly. for them in a relationship. Like yeah. It depends on like what's important to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if, if someone should cheat and you can't take it, then yeah, just bounce. It's will, not worth it. If it, it has happened once, it's not going to stop happening. It will keep happening. I'm still in love with my ex and I don't know if he feels the same. <laughs> His name is Pablo. Because who sends this question? Your ex doesn't give a <laughs> about you. Please, can you move on? Move on. Like, please. He's move not thinking on. about you. He isn't. He really isn't. Thinking or she's not thinking about you. Know. you. Just let's move on. Just move on. Why did you people break up in the first place? Exactly. Because you are not yourself. compatible. Be going, my sister. Be going, my brother. If they didn't value you when you were there, then the water cannot be inside the bucket, and the pastor cannot tell what it is. How will you know when the perfect guy comes? There's no such thing as the perfect guy. You that are asking the question, you're not, you're perfect. not perfect. True. It's true. If that person that you think is perfect for you, you're going to meet that person and you will not be enough for that person. The person might not even want you. So there's... It's true! Oh, God, this is violence. Okay. Right <laughs> this is see, violence. I'm just... You know what? I'm just going to keep shots. But you know, like, I have to see. If I don't help you people, who will help you people? 
have to help you people. That's the energy. I don't think there's anything as the perfect yeah. match. We all have our flaws. We just have to find like what we can live with and what we can't live with, what we can compromise on, what we can not Me, I want to bring God into it now. I want to be that person that I'll tell you that it's only God. <laughs> it's only God because you cannot know. No, honestly, because sometimes people would, you, you might even be dating somebody for like years and you feel, oh, this person is so great, this person is amazing. And, and then they'll just switch up. Yeah. Or they'll have another family in the village with like five children. But how do you open up in a relationship without revealing too much? Do you have a therapist? Do you have money for therapy? Then just go to therapy. Mm. That sounds like a very toxic advice, okay? It does. <laughs> See, when they run you straight, <laughs> see, when they run you straight, <laughs> these are the kind of things that will be coming out of your mouth. This, <clears throat> see, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you have that open up to your parents or open up to your therapist or why something. Why can't you open up to, to someone you're dating? Unless it's why, why are you, nah. I feel like if you know, you have to know the person on a certain level to know that, okay, this person is not going to use this thing against me in my moment but of why, why would you be dating somebody that will be using things like Bro, this? you never know these things until it happens. So, me personally, I feel the point of even being in a relationship, like, I would open up to you, like, everything. Yeah. That's my... That's then my when you guys break up and then he starts saying rubbish about you to other people, how are you going to take that? You know what? I am actually a strong believer that people that I date would not go and badmouth me later. To be. See, this is why we gel. <laughs> because we're opposites. You are very trusting. I'm very paranoid. You are very open. I'm very... Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Open up to your therapist. Not your man's. Open up to your therapist. Open up. Okay. Open up to your therapist. <laughs> If you've been single for a long period of time and have gotten used to your personal space, how do you adapt to another person in the picture without feeling like he or she is invading your privacy? Do you know what? I feel like this is me now. Like, I feel like this is me. I feel like now anybody just like coming and I was like, oh, my, just be going. Like, I'm not just prepared. See, that's just a sign that you're not ready. I feel like when you are ready, you, you would know and you would like want to open up and it won't feel like a burden or somebody is just like, Disturbing. It feels like there's a, there's a disturbance in yeah, the force. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. But yes, once you're ready, you're you're usually able to tell. At the same time, I guess there's always like discomfort in lon- loneliness. Would I say loneliness? You're in singlehood, and you know that no one yeah. is no one is. You. Where do you cut the line between partners suggesting and giving each other advice and being borderline controlling? Hmm. It's okay to suggest. Yeah. It's okay to advise. Yeah. Controlling is where you cut the line. Mm-hmm. So like, so like, you want to know like where? Like, how do you know somebody's controlling? You will know now. You will know. You it might take a while because some people it just it, it creeps in. Yeah. It, and it comes in like small small doses, and before you know, like you would have already been very in mm-hmm. before, before you, you realize, realize that, oh, what this person this is controlling you like what's in they happen yeah so yeah i feel like at some point you realize it then you now have to stand your ground and be like nah i'm, I'm not going this. yeah i'm not going to do love you yourself want more that's yeah. the same do what you want know what they want is it necessary to always read between the lines if yes how does one not overread between them this question i don't know i don't know Just read between it. the lines i feel like this thing can be like borderline insecurity and it's something you need to check because not everything someone says has like an underlying meaning to mm-hmm. it at the same time you know some people some people but not everything someone says has like an underlying meaning and i feel like if you're at the point where everything someone says or everything someone does you're always questioning or like looking for loopholes then you shouldn't be in that relationship anymore. You shouldn't be in any relationship at all. Yes. If that is where you're going. If that is where you are. But I should. promise you, if they're doing that, you will know immediately. It's not something that it's not like when you get home, you now start thinking, ah, this maybe. thing that this person said, maybe boya or boyant, weta or wetan. Yeah. <laughs> so I asked people on Instagram what their red flags were in relationships or in a talking state. Like what's this thing someone would do? that you would say nah please or come and be going or auntie carry a load and go to your father's house and i got some responses one when she's constantly fighting on insta <laughs> see this is something i have to agree this is like a big red flag so they had not insta blog those people that are always they're like i'm not social media anybody. in general ha, but there are some people that ah gossip me you will always find them always fighting people if you are toasting someone and you see them 
commenting on everything on Insta blog. Not just Insta blog, social media, social media as a whole. Why are you fighting on Twitter? Don't you have right. better things to do with your time? Yeah. When she overstands BBN housemates, I'm going to talk. <laughs> I'm going to talk because I don't know why man or woman that I'm chasing will wake up in the morning and go to the airport and have like a placard and be waiting for their people who like what they like. And if you can, if you if you can mm-hmm. if you can be with someone like that then just yeah just go just X red flag red flag. and then someone says inconsistency definitely inconsistency. yeah inconsistency but inconsistency can also be tricky <clears throat> also again I have this very bad habit of making excuses for people but okay. I feel like people are different sometimes people just don't have that energy to always put in like the same the same amount of energy every time mm-hmm. for a long time it doesn't mean that they don't care okay it doesn't mean that um yeah it doesn't mean that they don't care okay so yeah i don't know that's how i see it but i feel like in a talking stage if you're inconsistent then you're not ready that's just how i see it like or if, maybe i'm just a bad texter maybe but me i just feel like if today you're texting me hi how are you and then like the next two days i don't hear from you mm-hmm. then i can't take you seriously that that's basically you're not serious maybe i'm busy with work that sorry busy. sorry i'm so sorry that busy okay. maybe i was kidnapped <laughs> money requests especially when we just started talking recharge for me <laughs> First of all, if you are dating someone that is begging you for a recharge card, see this uh, this thing. In short, it sounds elitist. Different income brackets. True. Yeah. So True. let's not let's not say let's not say that. But, but if recharge it's card in the early, every time. Oh, but I'm saying if it's in the early stages, then yeah, the person is just like yeah. trying to. That's it. Trying to run you straight. Yeah. Run you, okay, I still need to do this street code. Though. Yeah. I need to know. I, why are you asking me? No, because you mentioned in the street code earlier. Go on Twitter, the template is there. <laughs> so the next one, cook for me. <sighs> cook for me. Look like Chef me. Prince. Chef <laughs> <laughs> Cupid. That's what we are. Cook okay, for me. Gordon Ramsay. Then that the chinanga cook yourself. Wow. Wow, Gordon Ramsay. I just remember the sausage. Are we saying, are we talking about the same person? What? What are we talking about? <laughs> God, I should talking about Game of Thrones. What's that guy's name? Oh, Ramson Bo- Ramson and um, Bo- Bolt Bolton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Who's got a Ramsey? The chef guy now I don't know on Mnet <laughs> that always insulting people. <laughs> Why do I think we're talking about Game of Thrones? No. Why did the sausage scene come to my mind? You know when he. Yeah. So, Shaliwa, what are your red flags? It will be control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you come off, because I'm I'm a very free person. I like to do what I want. Yeah. Say what I want, but still give you that respect mm-hmm. at the same time. But if you now feel like you can control me to do certain things, mm, no, nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I think I think for me, eh, if you are typing why owe you as you. That is it. Like you are gone. I'm sorry. Like that thing, it thing irritates me. Oh I am God. fine. Five N. Did you start with G G M U B, H B D, L L M P? Do you know what? Even those birthday ones, I don't really mind. Like L N M, long life and prosperity. I mean, it's like your everyday thing. No, like when is your everyday thing? Like um, how are you? Aru you? I don't get it. Like once you start texting me and that's how you start, that's the end. Like that is the major. I'm just like this person. Let me not say what I'm saying. I know how I'm going to text you tonight. It's okay. How are you? Hope you good. I'm F Y N G U D. Fine. <laughs> N. Did you eat today? Two D A Y. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope we're able to answer some of your questions. If you notice you're in a toxic situation, you should definitely leave. Please, for your for your mental well-being. Yes, and you can follow Shalewa on Instagram at Shalewa Star. I'll link everything. I don't know why I did that. Will you show here? I, I'll put it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. God control these fingers from doing the peace sign. That's it.